We want to hear from you. Provide feedback on this show or find out how you can get involved. Call, email us, or scan the QR code to take our quick survey. You're watching Rogers TV. Are you low on food? Struggling to pay the bills? Overwhelmed by life's challenges? When you need support but don't know where to turn, just dial 211. 211 connects you to the programs or services near you. 211, how can I help you? 211, help starts here. You're watching Rogers TV. If you want convenience, Marie's Money Mart is here for you. A one-stop shop for a variety of products, homestyle bread, sandwiches, plus check out our freshly baked artisan breads and single-serve desserts exclusively at our in-store bakery on Frecker Drive. With 25 locations, wherever you go, there we are. Yellow Belly food means fresh food. We source our ingredients locally and prepare them from scratch. Our meat is never frozen. Food's so delicious, we've got Good Times Corner. Yellow Belly Brewery, a proud sponsor of One Chef, One Critic. Today in my kitchen, we have the battle of husband versus wife. They're both executive directors and doing work in the community. Let's see who can direct a win today on Scoff Off. I'd say we both cook, but the question is, do we both cook well? We gotta take the batteries out of the fire alarms so Ron's gonna cook dinner that night. And <laughs> I'm probably gonna get shot for saying that, but maybe that was the reference just to remind. So it's definitely known that dad's a good cook, mom can cook and she does a lot of it, but definitely dad's more adventurous and prepares great meals. Hi, welcome to Scoff Off. I'm your host, Brenda O'Reilly. Scoff Off is a lighthearted cooking competition where we take two guests, a secret basket of ingredients, and only 20 minutes on the clock. And today we have the battle of the husband and the wife. Mm -hmm. So first time we've had a husband-wife competition. Rhonda, talk Lane, how are you? I'm excellent. Excellent, and her husband, Mark Lane, how are you? Fantastic. So guys, welcome to the show. And uh, Mark, I know you like to cook. You're a real foodie, aren't you? I am, I, uh, I love to cook, as you can tell, right? I, I, lo <laughs> I love to cook and uh, I say never trust a skinny chef right <laughs> and I love to eat so yeah and you're adventurous with your food I am so okay, I we'll, uh, we'll park that okay, cool. we'll park that for a minute so at home who does most of the cooking Mark well Mark. actually I do but it's because he just wants to lose weight oh <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the cook now <laughs> Sound like I'm going to have a great dish, Rhonda. We're going to do. I don't know. We're going to have some divine intervention. Here Depends today. what's in the basket. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. No. Mark is a good a good cook, but I do a lot of the cooking. Right, of course she you does. do. And then you got two kids, so you got to feed them, right? <laughs> when we come back, we're going to open up the basket. Stay tuned to scoff off. Hi, welcome back to Scoff Off. So before we open the baskets, I'm gonna go over the point system. There's 30 points in total. There's 10 points for the use of your basket ingredients. Mm -hmm. So there's four in there. You gotta use some of everything in there. You don't have to use it all, but you gotta use some of everything in there. And if you'd like to enhance that basket, there is lots of things here in the pantry and in the fridge to help yourself with. Um, you know, sometimes you wanna to go to your go-to thing, right? Um, there's 10 points for plate presentation. Then there's 10 points for taste. And all the pots and pans that we have at your access is right here behind you. And, um, and the plates and all the things you need to cook them in front of you. Okay, let's open the basket. All right. All right. Let's see what Ginger. the secret Ooh. ingredients. Ginger. Okay. Salmon. Ooh, Salmon. I like that. Soy sauce. Mark wanted orange. Yeah, yeah. Soy, soy sauce yeah. and orange. And some firm salmon. Nice. So guys, it's nice. time to scoff up. All right. All right. All right. I was actually excited. I was fine. I've cooked salmon many, many times on the barbecue or on the frying pan, but I found I was a little uh, uneasy with the, the fire, so the propane. I thought, fantastic. So I was hoping for firm salmon or oysters or mussels, so seafood. Like I, I, was, I was really surprised about the orange. So Mark, uh, you know, you're not surprised that you've got some, some aquaculture, are you? No, I was hoping for it. Uh, you know, uh, the organic blue mussels, of course, and uh, this farmed Atlantic salmon, far, farmed locally, I'm sure. I worked in the industry for quite some time, and I, I always ask when I go to a store, is it farmed or wild? And it's uh, quite 
uh, interesting to see the reaction they get from people. Because they don't know. They don't know. <laughs> and uh, so I always promote farm salmon being sustainably grown in the province uh, and the traceability. So f as a foodie, I like to know where my food came from. And you could actually know every second of its life. Uh, <laughs> you can actually, you actually know everything about that fish from time of conception till it ends up on your plate. So, as you yeah. say, so you were the executive director for many years for the Newfoundland Labrador Aquaculture Industry Association. I was. And of course, they have beautiful products here in Newfoundland Labrador. And the thing, the product I've worked the most with over the years is the the, the um, mussels. Of course, they're 100. percent oh, Look at you go, Ajit. This is how you cook at home. <laughs> this is exactly that's, how I that's cook. A calmer, that's a calmer I said, get comfortable, right? Okay. Comfortable. Right away, right away. Get ready? <laughs> uh, yeah, she did, and uh, I was quite surprised, but uh, you know, I guess as, uh, she was, she, she, I do a lot of the cooking at home, and uh, I've been giving her kind of rasner a little bit before we got here today, even on the way in in the car. And uh, maybe it was to calm her nerves or just to uh, relax and pretend we're just having a relaxing time at home. Yeah, so the organic, the Newfoundland muscle, of course, is 100% organic. It and is. the first certified in North America, which I don't a lot of people realize when I'm traveling. And on the menu, I see PEI muscles. I'm like, no, no, you need a Newfoundland muscle. <laughs> exactly. Well, a lot of times PEI muscles are actually Newfoundland muscles. So they actually buy them with a shortage and they, brand and they, they brand them because no. of the actual brand, honestly. Uh -huh. That's called what? No. Uh, it's called business, I guess. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right? It's, it's uh, ensuring your supply. Um, so that's not really a lie. No, well, not really. It's uh, I guess they were then brought to PEI to ship back. Right. I don't know, but I mean. So, Rada, you must have had your share of um, aquaculture seafoods at your home over the years. Uh, we eat a lot of fish, yeah. a lot of mussels, oysters, a lot of salmon. The Mirachine oysters are beautiful. Aren't they? Mirachine yeah. oysters are gorgeous. Um, we should eat more fish, but we do eat our fair share. Yeah. So yeah. That's good. So, and so good. you as well are uh, currently the executive director of Music NL. That is a very cool position. It is and very you have cool. been doing such a great job Thank you. for the music industry and for musicians in general. So so uh, you need to turn your burner around. I don't wanna don't, yeah, no, don't let gonna, me distract no, you too, too much because you still gotta cook your food. Still gotta cook because time has started, clock? right? Yeah. Oh clock's gone. I'm gonna no, it's on. It? Can I see? It's, it's on. on. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a crew member here watching the clock for us. So we will we'll keep you up to date on the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks good. So um, so anyway, music and out. Yes, let's talk. That's the music industry industry associate. Here in Newfoundland Labrador. Yep. Yep. So when did you start there? And I started right in the middle of the pandemic. I thought, oh. uh, why not? Let's have a challenge. It was something very new for me, mm -hmm. but bringing, I would say, an old set of skills that I had spent a decade working with, which I think and I do now know the music industry uh, needed. And so it was a great fit. So it was Sept September 2020. Wow. So yeah. You know, and at the time I was chair of Tourism Industry Association, so hard yeah. time as well. But I mean, and I know being in the live music uh, world through my business at O'Reilly's, that musicians were extremely hard hit because places they play and no one was traveling down. and nobody was doing, down. you know, events, right? So they had, and they started to go, they pivoted really quickly though, didn't they? The entire industry, it was funny because it, as you said, it was, you know, one of the hardest hits, one is still the last to come back, mm -hmm. as you know all I too know. well, yeah. but it was a time for reflection, a time that they would never have had, well, had that had time, time off today, There was right? never time off, so it really... The family didn't know who they were. <laughs> yeah. So it really gave, well, it gave us as an industry association really time to reflect and show our value and support our membership. Mm -hmm. But it also gave the artists and those working in the industry some time, I think, that they really needed that, as you said, projects that maybe you always had parked and someday we'll get to it. Right. That was that someday. So the creative so juices were flowing for exact, sure. Yeah. And some of them turned to online and that was a new platform for us because we took, you know, live was yep. what, what that was all about, right? Exactly. And, it cre and so that, what that it, it opened a new revenue stream for them. Yeah, so I, when Brenda reminded me to turn the burner on, I was slowly melting, but again with the fire, and just, I think, not being used to it, it I wasn't even paying attention, and I was chatting, and I was trying to chop and look fancy, my butter was burning. Right. So a lot of people are still doing hybrid. Yeah. I mean, I, you can't replace live. No. You'll never replace live. No. But a lot of them are now using the revenue stream uh, through with Zoom and different concerts online right. and using that hybrid model. Mm -hmm. So it did open up a new world. And a lot of our members also started to focus on syncing their music. So with television, commercial, right. and a whole different world opened up. So they saw So technology new, became a thing they got. A embrace. little quicker than it probably yeah. would have taken. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, Mark, I know you've got a military background. You spent 
uh, 20 years? Just over 20 years in the reserve, yeah. All right. So, like, um, tell me about that. Like, did, did you, what, what part of the reserves were you in? Oh, you were uh, I was a combat engineer, so I joined, uh, actually, friends of mine had joined in high school. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's typical Rhonda style. When we cook, typically, at home on a Friday night, we, we try to work together. Uh, maybe that's just a, a, a maybe that's just habitual to kind of look and take. But I mean, uh, looking at what I'm cooking and, and taking what I'm cooking is two different things. But uh, I'll forgive her for that. That's take, exactly what I, I mean. Get the, uh, but uh, friends of mine had joined, and uh, they kept talking about it. And I said, "Fine." So I said, "We still we stop talking about the military." And they said, "What? You're you're too weak. You can't handle it." And I said, "Excuse me." He said, "I dare you." And so I went down. I signed up at the recruiting center in '95, and I got out in 2020. So uh, I guess there's a little bit of stubbornness uh, in, in myself. <laughs> but, stubbornness. Uh, I was a kind of <laughs> but I was He's a kind not of stubborn, is he? So basically, uh, build bridges, blow them up, that sort of thing. It was uh, it changed my life, of course. Yeah. Uh, I got to meet a lot of cool people all around the world, and uh, you know, get to serve your country, so it's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. And the skills that he took away. Obviously, so will you be in what part of the world? Were you? Well, in the military, only never did a t uh, tour to Afghanistan. Uh, did a couple of domestic operations. So when we had Hurricane Fiona, for example, we deployed and built the bridges out uh, on the cover. peninsulas to make sure that people had access to their homes and things. There's no cover. There's no cover. Okay. Here, and, you can uh, grab it. No, I'm good. I don't want to tell you. Uh, uh, Where's your salmon? I got off camera for a minute. Help him run over. Okay, oh, yeah. Well, that, but, uh, <laughs> I don't touch that when it's hot. Okay. Thoroughly enjoyed my time. I joined as a private and I retired as a major. So it was, uh, it was a pretty neat experience. And uh, don't regret a second though. No. It sets you up well, too, for the rest mm -hmm. of your life. Like, you know what I mean? They teach you discipline and... I don't know about that, but <laughs> no, it does, absolutely. Brenda, and, uh, yeah. it's not open. <laughs> Where's the oil to, Brenda? You can tell, what? Where's the oil to? <laughs> the soy sauce, I think it was a trick move, I really do. So I just thought it was going to be ready to go and add as needed. But no, there were many steps to opening the soy sauce. Oh, wow. well, this is the slow me down. How are we doing on yeah, our here, time? Let me, Where's give, time let me open it for you. I got it. You got it? Okay. Time check. How are we doing? We're, Mark, we're, keep talking. We're good. I'm going to tell talking. you. Keep I'm going to tell you Mark. when you're down to it. You've still got keep more talking. than ten minutes left right now. So, but you, and I said earlier when we when I was introducing you guys, you have two kids, we yeah. a boy and a girl, Sam Anna. and Anna. Yeah. They're they, uh, they're thirteen and twelve, so they're at that great stage oh, of. That's perfect. They age. know Watch it all. It they know everything. They know everything. They know we, and we they know. Take after their mother. They, and uh, we know nothing. Now, what I got to do with it? I'm going to get this. Ah. I'm not sure what. This, uh, I tell people that know. military was a joke compared to two children. Uh, and they it's laugh, hard. right? Yeah. But, but being a parent today is not that easy anyway. It's not. Really oh, it's, right? it's, uh, listen, it's the most rewarding thing you'll ever do. And right. the hardest. But, uh, and the hardest. Like, there's no, there's, well, no there's lots of books, but there's no <laughs> real playbook on how to be a good parent. So what's your favorite thing that you make for the children? What do they like the most at home? Uh, breakfast, the big breakfast, right, big on Saturday breakfast. morning. So all the, all the trimmings, you get your beans, your bacon, all that sort of oh, stuff. Yeah. Uh, right. So they're really, really uh, into the big breakfast. Right? Anna loves pastas and breads. Yeah, doesn't she? Sam eats everything. Uh, Sam eats all the fish, Anna, not so much. Okay. That's, that's fish, fish, good. fish when you're young can be something you grow with. You didn't eat any fish growing up, did you? So, you never uh, touched and Mark, it. It, I've read that you really like to uh, be adventure of the food, and you always got like a fear factor thing going on. <laughs> I do. I try, I've tried it a lot. I've traveled a lot. So when I was working with NIA, the Aquaculture Association, yeah, I had a very fortunate opportunity to go to maybe 30, 40 countries in wow. a few years. Uh, always open to everything. I've eaten everything from uh, minky whale sashimi to puffin. We ate puffin. Uh, hey, now what? what I know, oh, I know, right? Know, Should we, we say know. that? We ate the, na the provincial <laughs> you bird. You already said it. We ate the provincial <laughs> bird. Here in our province or <laughs> no, somewhere else? No, we were in Iceland. Iceland. Oh, You're allowed to eat it in Iceland. Yeah, you're allowed to eat it in Iceland. I did not know that. I was in Iceland. I didn't know that. We did. Yeah, it was good. A lot of similarities between Iceland and Newfoundland. Well, we were actually at an event last night where the president was there. Yeah. So the Icelandic event was pretty neat. I always find that us and uh, Iceland, Greenland, the Faroes, and Norway are very quite similar, not just because of the Viking linkage, yeah. but I mean, we have a very similar culture right. uh, based on fishing, rural right. outports, uh, music, of course, f feed, mm -hmm. salmon. But yeah, we're hoping to do some cool stuff with some of the more rural, remote communities and music and now. Okay, with so Iceland. tell me more. Yeah, about so we're doing a really cool project right now. Um, 
with rural remote and how do you drive the economy using music right. in isolated places. Okay. So we're partnering with the Faroe Islands, Greenland, Iceland, and Newfoundland and Labrador. We're the Did only... Do like a we yeah, we're doing an well. We're going. It's going to lead to that. Right yeah. now, we're just doing online learning labs okay. with each of the communities. But it's really, really cool. And the similarities. There's so many similarities when you're talking rural, remote, and how do we, uh, you know, harness Ten technology? Minutes. Ten minutes. Well, you know, That's music and ready. food are two things that the world has. Mm. Right. Everybody has that in, in their culture in some way or another. Right? Yeah. Yeah, and Am I allowed to taste together. test it? You, my lord, just you eat it. You do what you this want is with that. Looking good. I know. I've learned from Mark not to overcook my salmon. Oh yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Is that that's that what he told you? Mm. <laughs> well, so much to choose from. We're not having sushi though. Remember that. Yeah. <laughs> good. So what did you have in your dish over there? You put in red onions and mushrooms. The red onions and mushrooms. Onions cook those in. Let those cook a little bit. Uh, I like my mushrooms well cooked, not overcooked. And not onions, obviously, especially when you're using red onions, got to be cooked mm -hmm. over. I think right. a little bit. They can be quite strong. When that's they can, yeah. well, what application you want to use them for. So did you use your orange yet? Not yet. No, no. okay. All right. I've been using my orange. I love orange, so I've been just sprinkling it on. You're right. I, the orange was a little bit of a curveball because of the citrus, but citrus and fish goes right yep. hand in hand. And I really thought with the ginger and the soy that you'd go Asian, right? Yep. No, it's really nice. Mm. Do you have any sesame oil? Um, uh, yes, I do. Uh, and a car covered all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll do it without. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never thought about that, but, you know, I should have, I suppose. I'm just mm. putting stuff in there that I thought would lead you towards there. I'm going to be done early so I can talk. And so you can talk, and you are, you know, um, involved in a lot of things. So tell me some of the things that you do for your personal development, because it's really impressive. Ah, so I do a lot of volunteering, and mm. when, when we had the kids, I did get rid of a lot of extra stuff that was that I was passionate about and tried to focus it more on the children. Well, yeah. So I'm the chair of our school council, so that's exciting. Um, and then able to just be more involved with the kids. But I really, 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 really love uh, board governance and policy. And that was some of the things that I think when I went to Music and L two years ago was really needed to give them a good start. So, so board governance and policy is not something people <laughs> say every day. I mean, I like it too. You and I are a lot like that, right? Yeah. But I read that you like to stay home, curl up on a Friday night and read uh, about some policies. I know, right? I'm wild. And Mark, have a glass well, of red wine. Wild, wild and, and crazy and girl there, Mark. How do you control? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's uh, one of the things we live out so far outside the city. We yes. live in Holyrood. Beautiful town of Holyrood. Oh, stunning. And uh, yeah. so most of our nights uh, aren't spent in the city. They're spent uh, in, in our home. Uh, We've got the you know, acreage there. We set up by yeah, the Yeah, you're outdoors a lot. I, I, I follow you guys on social media, and you're outdoors a lot. Well, well, well Mark, speaking of Holyrood, you were the mayor of Holyrood, uh, the deputy mayor of Holyrood. I was the deputy point. mayor. Area. I ran in, uh, for mayor, lost by seven votes. Thank <laughs> God. We so were just about to have Sam. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, so we probably won't have Sam was the reason you didn't get elected. But I but went again, into labor, right? So we spent the time at the hospital instead of knocking on doors, didn't you? I Thank did. You. Thank uh, you for that. Yeah, that's right. But I mean, for... Uh, <laughs> Sam thanks you, too. Sam, he But does. a lot like the military, it was very rewarding. Right. Right? It's uh, to be well, a community, community work is hard work. It's the quickest way I tell people in a volunteer position to lose friends. Lose your friends. You can yeah, be on council oh. in a small town. Because <laughs> you're making, you're I making. I thought you were going to say to gain friends. No. Oh, to lose friends. To lose okay. friends. Yeah, because you're yeah. making decisions that affect people, and you're face to face. So you right. see them at the Irving. You see them at Mary. Oh, Brown, it's grassroots so. politics. Oh yeah. Really yeah. 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 It looks so colorful. <laughs> My pretty. It's very grassroots. grassroots. It's all about the taste, not the look. Yeah, so uh, uh, my it? parents actually honeymooned in Hollywood. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so many years Where'd ago. Where did they stay? Well, I don't remember where they stayed now, but Dad, they drove out there, and Dad had like three flats along the way. <laughs> three? Was it a gravel road at the time? Yes, obviously. Do you know so where yeah, they we, were married 68 years. We you know. pre-honeymooned in Battle Harbor. Labrador. Oh, we, Labrador. we said, let's do a test. If we're going to get married, let's drive to Battle Harbor before the wedding and see if we make it. And we did. 20, 20 years? How long? Uh, is this a test? Yep. <laughs> uh, 2004 to 2023. 19, thank 19 you, Brenda. Years, yeah. I was just pretending, of course. But. Sure, you were. I gotta get this off now. It's good, it's crunchy and burning. Yeah, you can lay it aside. Yeah, okay. I think we're good. good. I just want to say. You got six minutes left. Yeah, the, uh, the flame, not being used to the flame, the onions got probably just a little crispier than I would have liked. Again, still going for the black and charcoal theme, but just a little more because you couldn't tell what they were. Um, 
Yeah, it's like if you can't tie a knot, tie lots. This is kind of like if you're not sure if it's cooked or not, just keep cooking, I guess. Uh, but I wish her all the best in the end. Uh, Six minutes? Yeah. So, Rhonda, I know that you also worked for a long, for a number of years with the Board of Trade. That's how we first met. That was when we met. Exactly. Yeah. I was there for almost a decade. Oh, wow. Yeah. And Fair. the work you do with these associations in the community is really, people don't realize you know, associations for different groups or whatever. Without the staff, you know, messages, the, the lobbying, the advocacy work, it wouldn't get done. It doesn't, and you, you really don't, it's, it's sad in a way that you only, I found over the years, saw the value when a crisis hits in your association. Right. Otherwise, they're there in the background, they're doing their thing, right. and the people that are involved are involved. But when a when a crisis hits, like dare I say, Snowmageddon? Yeah, no, no. Uh, I Snowmageddon. Remember. I was at the board when I that thought that was going to be the worst thing ever. I know, right? And then and then we had we know what was it. coming. <laughs> uh, Snowmageddon is really when your industry associations, whether you're with the Chamber of Commerce or whether you're with the music business, that exactly. you can really show value and get behind the scenes and start lobbying and advocating and getting programs and getting funding. So they're so critical, but it's like your gym pass, right? Until you use it. Right. You don't know its value. And, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And Mark, I know you do the same thing, but now you're with a new um, company. And it's, um, tell me about the North Pine Foundation. The so North Pine Foundation has been around for about 20 years. Right. It's only started staffing up about uh, two years ago. I was hired in the middle of the pandemic. So I'm what they term a director of impact. And what that means, so we, we are one of the largest privately funded foundations in Canada. Last year we deployed 70 million. Wow. My job is to basically, how do you find problems in rural Newfoundland? Uh, so, so none of them though. No, <laughs> yeah, no challenges at all. Find the people around it who lose sleep over the problem. Right. Who are those transformative leaders in our community who want to solve it? And we provide what we call catalytic funding. So we provide that risk financing for a proof of concept on actually solving. Four minutes. Yeah. So Four we, minutes. we don't we don't give uh, we don't fund per se mm -hmm. a traditional. Um, You're not a bank. Yeah, we're not a bank. But what we do is we provide lo loans, guarantees. We do give grants. Yeah. But we we do we basically do what they call milestone based financing mm -hmm. or performance based contracts. So. How do you actually solve the problem? We don't, right. We don't so give is that money. what the impact, so the lowest impact that it would have on the community or the greatest impact? The greatest impact. Right. And how do you scale it? So, for example, I've invested in food, food security. So we, we gave $900,000, invested in Josh Mia Food First. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily for, uh, for, uh, for, uh... Well done. It's going to be real good. <laughs> Black and salmon, Ron? <laughs> how did you guess? <laughs> Uh, exactly so, what it is. so basically what we do instead of you know trading the symptom of a problem we actually try to solve the problem so right. what we're trying to do is how do you get food how do you, re how do you get food cheaper better more accessible more affordable to rural parts of the province and how do you do that with a carb decarbonization lens so how do you do it so that it's actually environmentally friendly so right. we've got several partnerships on how we can actually work if you look at the uh, social determinants of health of Newfoundland, we don't yeah. perform that well, unfortunately. Yeah, because we're not eating that well. And because of food, you can't get it, right? Mm -hmm. It's easy, not easy, but it's easier for us to access it under Avalon. Yeah. But when you look at rural parts of the province, you know, in some especially cases. Especially in north, especially in the more remote areas. Yeah, if you look at like There's Flowers no Cove up on the northern peninsula, et cetera, yeah. right? Yeah, keep talking to him. Yeah, <laughs> keep talking to him. Keep talking, keep to, him. talking to him. But uh, so that's what we do. So we, we, I deploy probably in my portfolio. So we manage it like an investment. It is uh, about six million dollars, and I'll deploy probably another six before Christmas. And we invest it. Uh, you know, how do we keep more children in school? How do we get people more healthy? How do wow. we treat mental health? And it's not necessarily providing funding for the symptom. It's actually how do you actually solve? So how the is this funded? This uh, John and Kathy Phillips. Mm -hmm. uh, they're from Scarborough, Ontario. Yeah. Uh, I, I asked them why you choose Newfoundland. And they said because our heart and soul is in Newfoundland. They love it here. We just had breakfast. I took them to the Irving uh, in Donovan's right. uh, for real exposure to uh, yeah. Newfoundland. Uh, but because of their generosity and their love for the province, they really want to give back. Right. So, and they're not from here. No, they have a house in Flat Rock, but they uh, they live in Scarborough, Ontario. Ah, that's amazing. That's it great. is amazing. We need more people uh, like John and Kathy on the planet. Right. Really for sure. Cool. Wow. What are you having lunch? I, I'm gonna try it <laughs> just to make sure everything's good. <laughs> You're done, are you? I'm done. You're done? Okay, well, Mark's done too. Look at this. Well, uh, oh, oh, how much oh, time? You go ahead. Is you it over? Got another couple, Do you have any another, uh, tzatziki sauce? Or anything like that? Tzatziki? So I was gonna look for a little tzatziki, tzatziki yes, in the fridge. I'll oh, have some of that. Right straight ahead of you, Mark. 
Oh, we got fed a little tub in the middle shelf. Oh, I'll have some to see. Uh, no, down lower, next one down. I think it's right there. Yep, I got it. Yeah. I Don't love your I love your fridge and your food selection. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'll be back again later. <laughs> it's a little exotic, isn't it? That's still not open either. Yeah? I don't have anything opened. I was going to bring it back if you wanted to use it, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the week after I finish shooting the show, Craig and I eat everything that's in the fridge. Uh, no cheating. Oh, oh I'm just gonna have some cheese now. Good. Okay, so. Hmm. I, love so I, love I love when people copy. <laughs> I was thinking about tzatziki. Were you? Yeah, we used to, we have a lot of tzatziki. Sure, she was. We right. do. We got lots of tzatziki. I should have put Greek it seasoning in that Greek with that salmon good. instead yeah. of Asian, eh? Yeah. What are you looking for there? I'm just trying to think of fucking ends. You're, he's just, I he's might be done there. He's You're both eating through this, I must say. Let me see your plate. Wow, they look great. I really do. When we come back, we'll find out who wins. Stay tuned to Scoff Off. Welcome back to Scoff Off. Well, that was a lot of fun. I can see Friday nights at your house is a lot of fun. A little bit competitive. The beer is flowing, the wine is flowing, oh, yeah. the food is going on. Yep. Right? Board governance. <laughs> <laughs> and then they settle in for some board <laughs> governance. Yay. I <laughs> don't you like it? No, I do no, like No, I'd like to come over tonight for that. That'd yeah, be yeah, fun. you can crack them over. It's so around it. Okay, so I see you like copy a little bit off of Mark. Yeah, his, the colors. He was using a lot of different colors and he had it all sliced and diced, so I just grabbed a little. Yeah, right. Yeah. And so what were these? <laughs> Those were the purple onions, but we're going with, a, I wanted a little bit of a crispy, a little bit of a crispy crunch. She went for the crispy. Yes. I think you're looking Gilson for the... Mark's onions are a little wet and soggy. So let's try your salmon, because like that is the start of the dish. Yes. So your orange is where? Uh, all throughout. So right. I started early with the orange. Right, and soy. And, did, and soy, and then mm -hmm. just did a few little sprinkles throughout. Okay. And on the whole salmon. And your ginger's in there too? Yes, okay. that was. That's the other thing you'll find: the uh, the black and crisp ginger and purple onion. <laughs> Lovely, very yeah. nice. Very nice. Yeah, those those are those two ingredients. No, the salmon's cook cook good. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. good. Okay, yeah, wasn't good. sure. Yeah, I did the black again. With staying with the black and theme, you'll notice without, the crispy without the, the Cajun spikes. You got fire alarms okay. in here, Brenda. Right organic <laughs> blacking. <laughs> and so, I'm Mark, um, you you um, do you have your orange in here? Uh, of course I do. Um, yeah, yeah, so uh, right there. I just wanted to say <laughs> the final garnish. But where's your ginger? Uh, it's in there. It's uh, mixed through. I put it in with the Soy salmon. Safe. Soy is okay. there, yeah. So you cooked it in here. Your, your plate presentation is good. It okay, is. I got to tell you now. It looks I agree. Better no, I agree. Right? Yeah. Now, I'm not sure what the tzatziki does for either one of these two dishes. No? <laughs> two dishes. I'm not really sure either. But. Not either. <laughs> Let's try the salmon. I'm like not sure if Mark's salmon is cooked. Oh, yes. I you you have to cook it to the point where it just flakes off. He does lose a point for not using the orange, for sure. Oh. Um, <laughs> but today's winner is <laughs> Mark Lane. <laughs> Congratulations. That's it for this episode of I love you, Rhonda. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> These guys were so much fun. It's clear they have an amazing relationship, but Mark takes the win today for taste and presentation. Can I get a ride home? Maybe, <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a ride home. I'm not a sore loser. But you're admitting you lost, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Now, hopefully you'll start cooking more at home. Focused on quality and convenience, there isn't much you won't find at Marie's Mini Mart. Homestyle bread, sandwiches, plus a variety of artisan breads and delicious single-serve desserts available exclusively at our Frecker Drive location. Marie's Mini Mart, with 25 locations wherever you go, there we are. Yellow Belly food means fresh food. We source our ingredients locally and prepare them from scratch. Our meat is never frozen. Food's so delicious, we've got Good Times Corner. Yellow Belly Brewery, a proud sponsor of One Chef, One Critic. We want to hear from you. Provide feedback on this show or find out how you can get involved. Call, email us, or scan the QR code to take our quick survey. I don't think we're in our hometowns anymore. Follow the golden ticket road. I can see brighter things ahead. What's that? That's Hollywood where all dreams come true. Somewhere over the rainbow, the star will be born. There's no place like American Idol. American Idol, season premiere Sunday, February 18th. 
on City TV. My name is Chase Nicholas. I am a Mi'kmaq hockey player. Growing up, I always remember my family talking about the Mi'kmaq as the creators of the game of hockey. In grade seven, I did research on Mi'kmaq hockey sticks as the first sticks of the NHL. I found a Mi'kmaq hockey stick made in 1917, the same year the NHL was formed. I was surprised to find out the very stick I was holding was made by my great-great-grandfather, Alexander Cope. In 1934, an elder known as Old Joe Cope wrote a letter to the Halifax Herald claiming the Mi'kmaq created hockey. I found out later that I am a direct descendant